How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and I'm back with another mail day. I have a lot of packages here, and this mail day is actually very, very special to me, since this package right here actually contains my most expensive Pokemon card to date, and also the most expensive Pokemon card I ever bought up until now. So this is going to be very special, we're going to save this for last, but first of all, um, let me clear off the table, I guess. Um, these three packages, I'm pretty sure, contain the exact same card. Um, I don't know why the seller did like three packages instead of one, but oh well, let's open these smaller ones first, I suppose. Okay, let's start with these smaller packages right here, and these should be fairly easy to open, so let me just cut this right here. Very nice, and I think that should be it. Yeah, there we go. That's already opened. Um, very securely packaged. Oh, by the way, all of these actually come from, from China. So that is kind of interesting. It actually did go pretty fast, in my opinion. Yeah, usually packages from China take a pretty long time. And let me see if I can get this out without damaging it. It is in a top loader. And there is also some extra cards in here, thanks to the seller, I guess. Um, all Chinese cards, although I don't know if these are traditional or, or um, simplified Chinese. I think the Charizard is simplified Chinese. I think it must be. So this is a, a, oh, a Houndoom, forgotten about that one. So this is a Charizard from like a, a promo box over in China. And most of these cards actually are, as you're gonna see. And I've actually debated on buying that exact same box just for the card. And the problem is shipping from China, at least with the service that I use, is, is pretty expensive. So then I figured why not just buy the promo card and then call it a day because I've I've recently gotten the the um, first anniversary gift box and the texture look at the texture of that Charizard it's the exact same texture that the the Japanese one uses but it is a fraction of the cost of the Japanese and I feel like I, I think personally this is so much better looking than the English one. This is gonna look great in the in the Charizard collection. Yeah, there we go. You can you can kind of see the Pokemon logo down there. This is usually with simplified Chinese cards. So yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what the black border is, but yeah, the texture itself, man, this looks this looks amazing. And as I've said, a fraction of of the cost of the Japanese one. I think I'm definitely. I think most of these. Ooh, this is not good. That is not good. That looks a bit rough. That edge right there. That looks a bit rough right there. Mm. I was gonna send all of these into grading, but now centering on the back isn't perfect either for this one. It will still look pretty good in the collection, and I think I'm gonna still send this into grading. But there we go, the first Charizard. I think, I think this should be the other Charizard. I've ordered like two Charizards, so let's try to to check this one out. Um, one of the shops actually was a newer shop. Um, where is the opening? I think it's down here. In the process, there we go, okay. Also very securely packaged. Packaged the exact same way as the other Charizard, so that kind of makes me wonder. Like, aren't they all just the same, the same shop then? Just under different names? Because there's no way they package it the exact same, right? Why not use the knife? There we go. Smart. Should probably just use the knife and just rip this open right here so I can get the card out more easily. Also some some extra cards in there, either for protection or some some bonus. I don't know. Um, here we go, another rainbow Charizard. First of all, let's look at these. Some more Chinese Pokemon cards. A lot of Chudels. Okay. Okay, okay. Here is the other one. Now, this actually isn't a promo Charizard. This actually is a Charizard you can pull out of a set, I'm pretty sure. And, well, same with the, actually, with the English one and the Japanese one at that. Also, also this one is, I think, is, is cheaper than the English one, too. Um, this one also was a fraction of, of the cost. This one is double-sleeved. Very nice. Let me try to get this one out. It's basically the same Charizard GX that I already have in a shiny variant in Japanese. But this one, man, this looks super, super cool, right? Yeah, this looks really, really nice. I think centering isn't perfect, but I think it's better than the Charizard GX that I have. 
Yeah, and this time the back actually does seem does seem pretty clean. No issues there. So this should this should get a pretty pretty good grade. Yeah, this looks really really nice. The texture, man, the texture is just on another level. And that's what I've been saying, like the Japanese cards have so good texture, but they're so expensive, especially these older ones. And since the the Chinese ones have the exact same texture but are a fraction of the cost, you might as well go for them. I actually really, really like them now. I start to like them more and more, these Chinese cards. Very, very amazing. Wow. I'm absolutely stunned by those two. Um, let me put these over here and cover like... There we go, we covered Nessa's eyes there and two Charizards for eyes. Um, these three big packages have all the same card, I'm pretty sure. Which you're gonna see in a second. Let me just cut this open. Oh, I guess I didn't cut through. Guess I didn't cut through, come on. There we go, okay. Also very securely packaged. Wow, another envelope. You know what, let me just get all of these out, these other three, and then we'll move on. Okay, here we are. Three silver envelopes, all of which filled with the same card, I'm pretty sure. But let's rip open the first one. This time the glue isn't that strong. Also very securely packaged. Man, oh man. Um, I have to give them credit. They know how to package their stuff very safely. Man, I've I've received cards from Japan that weren't nearly as safely packaged. No, look at this! Look at the thickness of that cardboard. What the frick? Holy moly! That's insane. That is so well packaged. What the frick? Okay, if I can get this open, that'd be nice. There we go. Um, here we go. I guess you could scan this. I don't know where this would lead you. I bought these off eBay. Oh yeah, they does say eBay. Maybe it leads you to the eBay store. But he has super thick cardboard. Man, this is very, very good. A very good first showing here. Okay, let me just get this out. Right here. And turn it around. It's one more friends in Alola. Or Alolan friends. You know, I couldn't stop with just one copy or two copies of this card. I actually had two copies of that card. Um, I bought a few more um, for the main purpose of just sending these in for grading. So I'll have to see how they look after the recording. I mean, on first look, they, does, they do look pretty good. Um, of course, centering and everything plays a huge role in where I will send this. The best card, obviously, I'll send to BGS. So, oh yeah, I didn't even talk about this. I want to do it the same way as I did with the with the friends in Gala, where I have like three copies graded with the big three. So I have the friends in Gala in a CGC, I have it uh, graded with a PSA, and I have it graded in a BGS. And I want to do the same for this card. So let's see, and the hope is to, to get actually a, a BGS, like, black label. That would be something. Although the card has to be perfect. Well, I have gotten a, um, a whatchamacallit, I have gotten a CGC Perfect 10 before. I, I just don't know if the, if the Perfect 10 is just as hard to get as the BGS Black Label. I think the BGS Black Label might be a bit more difficult than a CGC Perfect 10. Although I'm not too sure about this. This definitely seems it has a little bit better centering than the previous one. Just a tiny bit. The lip right down here isn't isn't nearly as big as this one. I don't know if you can make it out in the video. I think you can. This one has a bit, bit better centering from top to bottom. Um, let's check out the third one. Let's check out the third one. And then I have to get rid of these silver envelopes. They are crowding my table. Lots of... Lots of good packaging. Very secure packaging. I'm very, very surprised. Man, I'm positively surprised. I have to be honest, I thought most of these cards aren't gonna arrive at all, honestly. So, with that, I'm very, very, very impressed. Okay, and here we are. Here is the last one. That also seems to have the, the same centering as this one. Um, the bottom lip, maybe? Yeah, I think the bottom lip is a bit... ...is a bit bigger. But yeah, these ones look very cool. Okay, and... 
just to make sure they're real. Of course, you have the, the stamp down here. This time you can see it better than on the Charizard. And you also have the holographic right here. You can see now it's Pokemon. And if I turn it a bit more, you should be able to see a Pokeball. There we go. So that way you can make sure that simplified Chinese cards are actually legit. Well, and the texture. The texture is also a, a huge giveaway if a card is real or not. Man, okay. These look super cool. I'm so happy to like own three copies of this card now. Or actually, no, I own I own five copies of that card right now. Man, okay. Well, maybe I have overdone it a bit. But you know, I do just love the card that much. Let's open this last package right here. Let me just get the cards a bit away from there because I don't want to damage them. I should have put them in the sleeve right away. So this one is actually very, very special. Um, it was also opened by Customs, which is which is the tape right down here. It says that in German, it was opened by Customs. I've never had that happen before. I've op actually that's not true. I've I've ordered like a custom PC case. Um, a few years ago, man, the N-Case M1, that was also opened by Customs. I also had to go to my local Customs office to explain why a PC case was that expensive. And yeah, that was something. But I, I've never had a package being opened by Customs before and then delivered to my doorstep. This is literally the first, the first time this has happened. So let me just try to cut this open very, very safely. Luckily, my knife is very, very sharp. Um, I do also have to cut it right here. There we go. And I have to cut it right here. Yeah, a sharp knife definitely helps with the opening. Um, let me just peek in. Okay, you can't see the card. Very good. It, it has to be suspenseful. All right, this little envelope. This little envelope contains my most expensive Pokemon card in my collection right about now. Okay, I have to turn it around. I don't want to spoil it. It, it comes in a one-touch case. It comes in a one-touch magnetic case. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, you already know this is gonna be something special, eh? I really do hope they put it at least in a perfect fit sleeve. Yeah, they did. Okay. Okay, they did. Man, okay, so the back... Let me just look at the back centering. The back centering does seem a bit off, but it, as long as it is, um, like, 55-45, it should get a 10. Or in PSA, I think it's like 60-40, um, left to right. So here we are. Um, let me see, how can... How can I get this open? Okay, so no, this is not a perfect fit sleeve. This is like a a sealable. Oh, that's not good. Ay ay ay. Oh, that's a really, really bad sleeve. That's a really, really horrible sleeve. Let me get this out before damaging the cart. Okay, so the back actually does look pretty good. At least from what I can tell. It doesn't seem to have any scratches. The the edge right here seems a bit rough, but then again. It did with the Friends in Gala, and that got a perfect 10, so maybe I'm just overthinking it. The back so far looks pretty good. Centering isn't perfect, but let's just turn it around and see the front of the cart. And here we are. Holy moly, this is... This is if if I... That you, um, you had... You, you, you could, you do... Okay, here we are. The Lily. I'm lost at words, actually. This is a grail for many full art trainer collectors, me included. Um, it's the same with the Friends in Gala, like the Japanese version is just out of this world. You cannot afford the Japanese version anymore. At least not if you're a normal person, maybe if you're a millionaire or something. But the Japanese version is so expensive. So what do we do? We just grab the Chinese version, which is in itself, by the way, it isn't cheap. Um, this cost me... 850 euros. 850 euros for this card. This is officially the most expensive card in my collection. And man, oh man. This is, by the way, this is not simplified Chinese. As you can see, there is no stamp at the bottom right here, and there's no um, reflective Pokeball or Pokemon logo here. So this is actually older, also by the, by the copyright. Where is the copyright? There, down here. I don't know if you can make that out in the video. It says 2019 Pokemon. So 
Pokemon was actually available in Chinese, the trading card game, um, but it wasn't on mainland China as far as I understand it. It was available on like Taiwan and Hong Kong and so on and so forth, um, but it then one year ago it was released on mainland China and then they got all these special sets in it. This one, for example, the friends in, in, in Alola and like these, these Charizards right here. These are all simplified Chinese. I think this might be traditional Chinese, although I'm not sure. And I don't want to, to say anything wrong. Um, because I don't, unfortunately, I don't speak Chinese. But I, I think it's traditional Chinese. But man, this card looks super beautiful. Although I have to admit, I thought the texture in the background was going to be more pronounced than what we're seeing right here. I do have to see under the um, the black light and like a magnifying glass if the card is actually real. But I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, if it's not then, if it's not though, then it's a really, really good, um, really good fake, but I'm pretty sure it is. I can see like very fine texture on like Lily's, Lily's hair. So I think it's real. But man, this is this is a card and a half, man. I, I, I'm lost at words. I'm lost at words. But there you have it. That was my mail day. Only five cards, but one one very expensive card, of course. Jesus. Um, these will all go to grading. Um, I have to decide which one from these three to send to PSA, which one to BGS, and then all the other ones are probably going over to CGC because that's just the cheapest option for me and the most comfortable. And I really like their cases. I really, really like CGC. Um, but I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click these videos. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Peace, peace. Take care.